President Biden has nominated Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court, Good afternoon. the first black woman nominated to be a justice on the nation's highest court. If confirmed, she would replace Justice Stephen Breyer, a liberal member of the court who announced his retirement in January. Judge Jackson served as a law clerk to Justice Breyer earlier in her career. I've been a federal judge for eight years, and I have a duty of independence. I clerked for three federal judges before I became a judge, and they were models of judicial independence. And what that has meant is that I know very well what my obligations are, what my duties are, not to rule with partisan advantage in mind. What makes her a strong nominee in part is that professional diversity. Um, this sort of allows Biden to fulfill a promise that he's made to diversify the court, not just by putting people in the court who might have a different demographic background, who might look different, but people who might also just bring a different kind of experience. Another thing that makes her a, a strong nominee is that she was just recently confirmed to the D.C. Circuit. And so it means that she's gone through the Senate confirmation process. The president made his decision after meeting with the candidates, studying their histories and case records, and consulting legal experts, the White House said. Although we have a pretty closely divided Senate, um, we think she still probably has a pretty smooth path um, to confirmation. Um, uh, President, Vice President Harris casts the deciding vote um, and give, give, give Democrats the majority. Mr. Biden's nomination won't change the balance of power on a conservative high court that has six justices appointed by Republican presidents, including three by former President Donald Trump. Judge Jackson currently serves on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, one of the nation's most influential courts and often a stepping stone for Supreme Court justices. She joined the court last June after spending eight years as a federal trial judge in the nation's capital. So President Biden has uh, promised to diversify the federal judiciary in terms of both demographic background and professional diversity. Um, and Judge Jackson ch ticks both of those boxes. She'll be the first black woman on the court. Um, and she also brings background a background as a criminal defender, um, which we have not seen um, in many, many years. I would say that uh, my different professional background than many of the Court of Appeals judges, including my uh, district court background, which will be different if I'm confirmed than many of my, my colleagues, would bring value. Uh, it's sort of like the Oliver Wendell Holmes quote that the life of the law is not logic, it's experience. And so I've experienced life uh, in, in perhaps a different way than some of my colleagues because of who I am. And that might be valuable. Uh, I hope it would be valuable if I was confirmed to the court. Republicans have tried to pin her down on this question of the quote unquote living constitution, the idea that constitutional interpretation should adapt to social change, should evolve over time. Um, she had said in 2013 at her confirmation, at a confirmation hearing to the district court that she disagreed with that. Um, but more recently at her appeals court confirmation hearing, she really just declined to talk about it and deferred to the Supreme Court. The Constitution is an enduring document. It is, uh, it has, the Supreme Court has said um, a fixed meaning that we're to look to the original uh, words in the Constitution and interpret, uh, as lower court judges, interpret provisions the way in which the Supreme Court does, and they look at the text and meaning. Judge Jackson has not said very much about um, what kind of a president she will be on the court, um, as is common um, with lower court judges. We don't know very much about her judicial philosophy. Um, and when she was asked about it at a recent confirmation hearing, she really declined to talk very much about it and deferred to the Supreme Court. I think that I would like to be remembered as a judge who was both careful and thorough, in my opinions. It remains unclear exactly when Judge Jackson's confirmation hearings will begin, but New York Senator Chuck Schumer said they will take place in the coming weeks.